All right, today I'm going to show y'all how to get streaming YouTube videos on your mobile phone. All right, so just to show you here, um, that's kind of hard to see. We're going to go to YouTube.com. This is the main site, not the mobile site. When you go to YouTube on your phone, most likely go direct you to the mobile site to get around that. Just scroll to the very bottom of the page, and there's going to be a link that says View Desktop Version. And you want to go to that link and click on it, and it will take you to the regular YouTube site that you see when you go on your computer. All right. So just load. Okay. And then you type in uh, a video or Click on a video, whatever you want. Let's see, we got we got a movie trailer here. Uh, let's click on that. Yeah, menu pops up. Ask me if I want to play the video. We're gonna click on play video. That's kind of hard to see. Bear with me. And here we go. This is a YouTube video. Again, this is the actual YouTube.com site that you would go to on your computer. You can pretty much see whatever you want to see. Whatever you think you can on here. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really not that hard, but you just got it right. Though. All right, so first thing you want to do, there's two files that you want to download. First things first. For that, you want to make sure you got a good internet connection. That means you got either Edge or um, well, you don't You don't really want to have Edge with it. That's all you have. You know, you got to make it work. But it's going to be kind of slow. You might have Wi-Fi, preferably. If you don't have Wi-Fi, even though or 3G, it's not too bad. But Wi-Fi is probably going to run at the best. It has the most uh, bandwidth of uh, most connections. Um, all right, so like I said, this file is going to need. I'm going to post the links um, in the uh, more section of my video. Um, and that really, you just need a. And this is for uh, any mobile phone that runs Windows. It should work on. It's going to work easiest on the uh, on PC. But what you want to do is obviously you want to connect your. Uh, Windows Mobile device to your computer, so you can down fast. So we're gonna turn off Wi-Fi here, and then I'm just gonna plug the cable into the phone. Just gonna turn the cable like that. All right, and again, like I said, I'm gonna get into the site first. I'm gonna go to and then download a program called TCPMP. Uh, this is a video player. This is um, better, I think, better than Windows Media Player. And of course, Windows Media Player cannot play Flash Files, so the site looks like this. Here, if you can see, there is a bunch of different links here. Um, they have all operating system, like uh, and the mobile. If you have a pocket PC, if you have a Windows device with a touch screen, you're going to download that one up there that says Pocket PC. If you have a smartphone like a Dash, it doesn't touch screen, you want to download TCD on your smartphone right there, the second one. Uh, okay. Um, let's say that it's having trouble connecting my device uh, sometimes, so we're just going to bypass that and we're going to connect it again. Trying to make this quick, but it really doesn't take that long. It'll take you 10 minutes at the most. Okay, so once you've downloaded the file, you will pick a file called PCMB Pocket 072RC178C. It looks like that. And you want to load this file, or if you have it, you just want to open up a line. And then you go next. You put in some 
installation product, I'm probably not going to do it because I will not want to put it on your device. I will install it on your device. Your device is connected. Now, while your device, while your device is still connected, you want to go to Active Sync and go to Explorer. Now the thing is, if you, wherever you put TCMT player, TCPMT or whatever it's called, you want to make sure that the second file that you download to the same location. So if they're both on the device memory, you want to keep it on the device memory. If they're both on the memory card or storage card, you want to keep it over the monitor. It doesn't matter so much where you put it. I like to just put it with RAM file right here. So Windows Mobile Base Nice program files here and what you do is I'll also put the second link here but I can show you what it tastes like real quick. Here's um uh, this is like called Rapid Share. Um it looks like you have to pay but you don't you just go down here and you click on free and it might have you wait a little while before you can download the file. Yeah, here it's see it's saying point five minutes. It's gonna go for and it's just basically gonna count down and eventually it's gonna start downloading. Still around here. This has the most up to date file of the flag demo. So then you're just gonna wanna go here, type in this low the image they have, you wanna type what you see there. And you're gonna click download. And the low dialog's gonna go up. Ask you if you wanna see file. I'm gonna click save the disk, save wherever you want, wherever you know you can retrieve the file. Not the neck, because obviously I already have it. And you're going to go to wherever you have the file. Uh, in this case, I got it in my documents. We all in my documents. It is flash bundle got that. And we're just going to take the file and drag it over here. And again, I'm not going to speak that. And then it's going to be on device. So then you want to go to the device, and it's going to ask you what you want to install. And it's going to follow the procedure on the screen and install it. And once you've got that installed, it, you want to do soft reset on your device. So you hold the power button or um, some devices, maybe soft reset a little different, but you want to get it back to where it has to reboot and load everything and see your logo in my case would be T Mobile logo. Just hold the button here at the top. It says power will be turned off, you may lose data if you're not simple lie. Yes, again I'm not gonna do it, but that's how to do it. And that's pretty much it. Once that's done, then you turn on Wi Fi or go to your internet you can use internet explorer and well you can enjoy.